Hello uh, friends and uh, lovers of freedom. My name is Dr. Clifford Chukwemeka Iranya. I am here to uh, respond to a video by one barrister Adolphus Chigozir Emeka Emekesri in which he told lies, he told half-truths and he hid a lot of information from the public. Barrister Adolphus Emeka Emekesri was trying to get people to support his latest gimmick which is a lawsuit he said he was doing and then in order to do that he started off telling a lot of lies yes he said we uh, wrote a petition yes of course we did write a petition and this is that petition please if you can zoom in to the date here you can see september 10 2014 Please keep note of this date, September 10, 2014. And the heading of the petition was a case for revocation of certificate of incorporation of the Leo Human Rights Initiative, BHRI, and the prosecution of its trustees for perjury. What prompted this petition? Let me take your mind back. And that was the very part that MK MK hid in his video. That is the part that the Mekke Mekesri does not want the world to know because he is building his case on a faulty foundation, on lies and on propaganda. The Mekke Mekesri, I am putting, putting it to you that you lied, you are a lawyer. You know the weight of calling somebody a lie, a liar rather, on a video like this. I would like you to take it up and take me to court so that we will bring it all the evidences as a matter of fact if nigeria is a well organized disciplined place by now you should have been disrobed your license to practice law would have been withdrawn by now but let me stop at that and go to this very issue that i'm talking about here is a public disclaimer this is a document written by Emeke Mekesri and he got um, uh, the, he got uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the people of uh, the deputy leader of uh, the so-called Supreme Council of Elders of the Indigenous People of Biafra to sign it. As a matter of fact, the, 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 deputy, leader, the deputy leader or deputy chairman, Dr. Ike Dupe, the late Dr. Ike Dupe, did not actually know about this document because I have somebody, his name is Chilode Martin. He lives in Austin, Texas. He is from the same Navy with Dr. EKDP. He personally called EKDP and asked him about this document. And EKDP told him that he was not private to it, that all the time, Barrister Meke Meke writes something and put his signature on it. Now, but that is not even the issue. The issue now is that he wrote this disclaimer, claiming that Nam the Kano and everybody that is with him, of which I was part of that time, I was even the fourth ranking person in the IPOB at that time. After Nandi Kano, there was Uche Mepo, after Uche Mepo, there was Uche Nasiebu, and after that, it was myself. And so he grouped all of us and said that Nandi Kano and his group have threatened to assassinate people, and that we believe in violence. This document was sent to every intelligence agency in the world. It was sent to the FBI, it was sent to the Mossad, it was sent all over. And the, the, we are an even interested in, and that was why I said you should look at the date on our petition, is look at the date here. It is 12th day of May, 2014. Keep in, keep in mind, the one I showed you, the petition we wrote, was September 10. This is May. You be the judge. You tell me if May is before September or September is before May. That is number one. Number two is that Barrister Emeke Emeke Siri, on the first day of September, remember, September 1, 2014, and our petition was September 10. So on September 1, 2014, Barrister Emeke Emeke Siri wrote what is called policy statement and order in which he again maligned IPOB, Nandikano, and those who were with him. 
and the saying that we are impostors, that Nam the Canon and Uchemi for went and registered a, a limited liability company with a number 8742320. I am going to come to that because I will show you here a limited liability company that was registered by Emeka MKC with his wife and his son as the shareholder. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm coming to that. That's a little, the, the, that's a little discussion. Now, when we now saw this document flying over the place, maligning us, employing us, and raising us in the eyes of intelligence agency as terrorist, uh, uh, minded individuals, we decided to write the petition. In fact, we decided to go into the very, very organizational structure of what he represents, the Believe Human Rights Initiative. Here is the constitution. We stumbled into this document, the constitution of Believe Human Rights Initiative. If you go into that constitution, it says that, and this constitution was the document they used to register Believe Human Rights Initiative with the Corporate Affairs Commission. And they said that they are coming together as Bilay Human Rights Initiative for the following aims and objectives. And here are the aims and objectives. He says to promote human rights advocacy and protection of indigenous people's rights. To organize public lectures and seminars on human rights and advocate for, ad advocate for justice, fairness and the rule of law. To grant legal aid and defend and the all oppressed people whose fundamental human rights and freedoms are violated. That is the end and objective. Now they came to, and this is section three of the constitution. Section four is membership. They say that the membership of Bilal Human Rights is open to every Nigerian. I repeat, every Nigerian in all parts of the world who meets the condition of enrollment. And what is the condition of enrollment? The condition of enrollment is that the applicant must be a citizen of Nigeria and must have attained the age of 18. What is the implication? Buhari, Babangida, Abubakar Shekau, Abdulaziz of Makban, uh, the, uh, whoever, as long as you are a Nigerian, you are 18 years of age, you qualify to be a member of the Human Rights Initiative. This was what they articulated in their constitution and which they now use to register with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Now, here is the Believe Human Rights membership application form. In this membership application form, the first thing they ask you is, are you a Biafran? Can you see the conflict of interest? Here is for every Nigerian 18 years and above. Here, you have to be a Biafran. As a matter of fact, when you go down, down there, you, you, there is a place where you swear an affidavit that as a Biafran citizen by indigenous identity, that is the membership. So how can you be on one hand saying that you are open to every Nigerian, then on the registration form, you are only limiting it to Biafran only. That is a lie. And somebody who told this lie has the audacity to write a petition against IPOB and Indian and his group and forward it to Interpol. On the 12th day of May, he was not satisfied. He went again and wrote another one on the first day of September. And that was that at that point we said this is enough. We have to. And he, remember in the video I'm ref, I was referring to, he talked about how we should all work together. Everybody should work on its own. You are the goalkeeper. You should allow the defender to play. You should allow the midfield and the attacker, the wingers and all that. But Emeke Mekesu did not do that. Why did I say so? Emeke Mekesu wrote a petition to the Attorney General of the Federation in December of 2015. While Nam the Kano was still in jail, was still in DSS dungeon, a Meke Meke he wrote a petition discrediting Nam the Kano and saying that Nam the Kano is a violent man and that Nam the Kano and his group are all known for violence. We saw here it was a 10 point. I'm not going to go through all that. And in fact, at the end of the day, at the end of it all, he put his picture in the petition. 
I don't push a maker, a maker three route a petition to Attorney General of Nigeria while Enam Dekano was in prison. And he is the same person doing a video asking for us to, you know, not to do this, not to do that. And then instead of going straight to ask for financial support, which I know what that was, what his video was all about, for a, a court case, which of course he's going to lose anyway, he started off by calling my name, calling me Ken and I'm talking about, I'm talking about a petition we wrote to Corporate Affairs Commission on the 10th of September, after Emeka Mekesri has written two petitions, one on the 12th of May, the second one on the 1st of September, he has the audacity to talk about the one we wrote on the 10th of September. Now, here is a printout from Bilie website. By the way, let me take you back. Bilie means Biafra Liberation in Exile. A group of Biafrans who reside abroad came together and formed what they call Biafra Liberation in Exile. B-I-L-I-E. This is an extract from their website. I am going to read it so that we will know that what we wrote on that petition was absolutely correct. It goes this way. Bilie is an organization formed by pro Biafran groups that were registered in their respective countries, which decided to come together to form a modern organization known as Biafra Liberation in Exile, Bilie. The organization per se is registered in Europe and also registered as an NGO in the category of Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, Indigenous People Organization, IPO rather, under the United Kingdom, United Nations. It has its human rights arm, known as Bilie Human Rights Initiative, which is registered in Nigeria. Let me read that last sentence. It says, it has its human rights arm known as Bilio Human Rights Initiative, which is registered in Nigeria. And let me tell the world what they do not know. Bilio Human Rights Initiative was actually, as stated here, an agglomeration of all the people who are residing outside the country and who decided to come together to form uh, the Biafra Liberation in Exile. Now, what did they do? They hired Barrister Chigoze Adolphus Emeka Emekesiri to be their lawyer and also to help them register Bilie in Nigeria with the Corporate Affairs Commission. And after registering, regist registering Bilie, what did Barrister Emeka Emekesiri do? do? Barrister Emeka Emekesiri now sacked all the people that hired him and conducted a fake annual general meeting and removed everybody and put himself at the overall head. And they became at log ahead. I don't want you to believe what I'm saying, but there are people you should check. There is a man called Dr. James Achike. He is on Facebook. Inbox him on Messenger and ask him about that. There is another one called Dr. Festus Afamifla. He is on Facebook. Inbox him and ask him what I just said. There is also a Osita ABM. He is on Facebook. Inbox him and ask him what I said. There is Professor Emmanuel Enemchi. Professor Emmanuel Enemchi. Please contact him and ask him about it. There is also Dr. Oguchi Nkwacha, a medical practitioner residing in California. Ask him if what I said was a lie. Emeke Emeke 3 undercut them, took over the uh, uh, Human Rights Initiative, hijacked it, and then took it over. Of course, you know the way they say it in Igbo language that whatever you get from the corner of the spot, it goes to the corner of the mouth. Before you know it, he fell into problem with the uh, engineer uh, Innocent Amadi, and they parted away. And we were telling them at that time that the court case you are going into is not going to work. First of all, you are taking Nigeria to their own court. You think you are going to win? It's not possible. Secondly, you said you are a human rights organization. On the 
I believe it's on the 26th of July 2013. Governor Fashola then deported 70 Igbos to Onitra. Believe human rights was already in existence. They never one day did anything about it. So why are you deceiving the people? Now, Paris Demeke Mekesu has now gone a further step. Now he has seen that the court case he initiated at the world is failing. He has gone to another one to initiate another court case uh, that is saying that Buhari made an author, uh, uh, an utterance that uh, the Bien France uh, should form a party. Barista Meke Meke Sri, you are a lawyer with all due respect. I don't know the way or the law books you are reading right now, but you should understand that in every country of this world, the constitution is supreme. Every other thing is secondary. Anything that does not tally with the constitution, every, anything that is in violation of the constitution, anything that contradicts the constitution, that thing is null and void and of no effect. That was why I had to call you out when you started quoting Article 20 of uh, 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 Cap A9 uh, of uh, Laws of the Federation 2004. And I told you it's, it's not going to work. That is the African Charter of Human Rights in terms of uh, uh, people's rights for self-determination. That is an ordinary law. It is called LFN, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria. It is not the Constitution. If you go to Section 1, Subsection 3, is the Constitution makes it clear that any law that contradicts that Constitution, that law is null and void. That is number one. Number two, if you also go to uh, Section uh, 315, of the constitution, it makes it clear that, that every law must be brought into alignment with the constitution. So right now, Article uh, 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 Article 20 of uh, Cap A9 is not even alignment. So by is naturally it's supposed to be null and void. Constitution of Nigeria, Section 2, Subsection 1, said that Nigeria shall be a federation and it is indissoluble and indivisible. For you to do anything about Nigeria losing any part, you have to take down the existing constitution. Or the alternative is to go for amendment. And the conditions for amendment of Nigerian constitution, those conditions were well spelled out in section 9. And so you going to court now and asking people to support you and all that, you are just wasting your time. And I'm using this opportunity to advise people who reside in the area he calls Biafra to please not pay attention to that his lawsuit because it is not going to work. You must align with an organization that is targeting the bringing down of the constitution of Nigeria. Any other thing is playing to the gallery. Therefore, I am advising Barrister Emeka Emekese to please do not open a can of worms. Here is the company you registered with your wife and your son. In the petition you wrote, the two petitions you wrote, in fact the three petitions you wrote, you made reference several times of Nandikano and Uchemeko registering IPOB Limited. You even get, gave a certificate number. Here is the one you registered, Certificate of Incorporation of a limited, of a private limited company, Office of Indigenous People of Biafra, by Believe Human Rights Initiative. You registered it, and here are the people who are the board of directors. You have Adolf Chigozi Emeka, that is yourself. You have Uche Chi Edit Emeka, that is your wife. And you have Faithful. Madura Buchi Emeka, that is your son. So, if you live in glass house, Barista Emeka, Emeka is you should not throw stone. I am advising you to hold yourself back. The path you are going, the line you are trading, it's going to spell doom and disaster for you. If you want to ask dear friends to support you, to fund you in your legal jamboree, fine. But don't, don't bring the issue of this petition again. 
because it is going to open up a can of worms. There are so many documents here, but because of time, I'm not going to review them. I even have a recorded tape where you confess that you, you deceived the Corporate Affairs Commission. When they ask you about Bilier, you told you tell them that it is Bilier means stand up. But that in the back of your mind, it is Biafra Liberation in Asia. I have that on tape and I'm going to release it on the day of recording. I advise you, be careful. This is the beginning. You either retrace your step now or we will go down that road. And I guarantee you, you never come back successful. Thank you, good people of the world, and God bless you all. Thank you.